Hey Blazers, this episode is brought to you by Audible.com, an Amazon company. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com backslash Blaze Entertainment. Or visit the sponsor and supporters links on our website at intotheblaze.com. With over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Now let's start the show! What's going on, Blazers? We're here with another episode of Blaze Entertainment Spotlight Edition. <laughs> I'm your host, Kwame, and I'm here by the with the lovely, the talented, the beautiful please, Miss. Please. Miss Free. Please. You know, I'm just a regular regular schmegger. <laughs> <laughs> and I, we have a very special, special guest. Um, really awesome person, friend, and beautiful human being. Um, Miss Lori Mahoney, a personal parents manager. How are you, Miss Lori? I'm good, Kwame. Thank you for those kind words and that great introduction. <laughs> I try. It's part of my game. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually blessed to meet you um, last year at uh, RegalCon, um, and I actually met you through, uh, I think we know this person, uh, Mr. Zach Van Norman, <laughs> off of Once Upon a, Upon a Fan, um, and uh it was you are hilarious, by the way. <laughs> when I first met you, you just you just are just no bullshit, straight talking. Just this is what it is. Let's get her done. Sounds like my time for girl. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. That's that's pretty much how you have to be in you know the line of work that I do. Mm-hmm. It's the take no nonsense kind of go in. And for those who, and, and for those who don't know, can you tell us a little bit more about what you do and and how you do what you do. Well, I'm a personal parents manager and I have my own company called Lomo Pro. And then I'm also an independent contractor doing the same thing for another agency, um, Alumina Productions. And basically what I do is I reach out to promoters um, from the different convention types, comic cons, horror, sci-fi, all that convention different you know, genres that they have out there for different conventions around the country and around the world, actually. Um, and I book them in there, and then I go travel to the conventions with the clients that I book in. Lots of traveling, lots of weekends away from home. Mm-hmm. But I love what I do. So yes, and I, it's funny because I see you on your on your, uh, your your Facebook, and I'm like, he's he's gone again. Like he's on a plane again. <laughs> like, like where where is she going? How is she getting this many frequent flyer miles? Like, it's, it's I do have a lot of frequent flyer miles. That is for sure. Um, I mean, I come home to take a vacation, to take a break. I spend mm-hmm. my weekends. Basically, a typical weekend for me is Thursday to Monday. And I'm in some city in some hotel working. You know, that's my work week basically is, you know, Thursday to Monday. And then I spend the rest of my work week contacting the promoters and talking to the promoters and getting my clients booked in. But typically, I am on the road. Sometimes you'll see my Facebook posts as early as, you know, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning on a Thursday because I'm heading to the airport. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm aware. I I I, I have you favorited <laughs> on my uh my Facebook. And so <laughs> anytime you you have an update, Lori's there. This, this is another, yeah. I another mean, update. <laughs> I mean, but I can only imagine like everything that you get to do and experience yeah. and see in such a you know a, a weekend, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I well, mean, I'm starting to think that the uh, TSA agents at Tampa International Airport knows who I am. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, well, we know her. She's good. She's, she's good. good. Let her throw. Let her she's throw. Cool. <laughs> She's all right. She has, she's, she's okay. She's she not going to hurt nobody. She has a special pass. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, when you, how did you get into to your field and, and, like, what made you want to, you know, pursue being, you know, a manager and, and dealing with, you know, agents and, and the world that is entertainment Mm -hmm. well it was a long journey to get where i am um i started out as a volunteer at conventions um and i'm with one particular convention icon conventions they're based out of orlando i you know started volunteering with them and i worked my way up the ranks became a handler of the different guests 
that they had brought in for their Vampire Diaries conventions mm-hmm. or Team Wolf or One Tree Hill, whatever they were doing at the time. They still do, by the way. So Icon Conventions, check them out. They have a One Tree Hill convention coming up in November. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, very popular. Shout out to um, Autumn. Shout out to Autumn. <laughs> shout out to Autumn. <laughs> and Kenny and Josh yes. and the whole Icon crew. Um, but I worked my way up and then I did, and I did other conventions volunteering as well. And then in 2013, I wanted to do a convention of my own. So, I put together a convention for the TV show Once Upon a Time. Mm -hmm. So I can officially say that I held the first Once Upon a Time convention in the United States. (laughs) Um, (laughs) And so I did that, and I was like, well, you know, I don't know if if being a promoter is what I want to do. And um, another agent offered me a position with him, and I took it, Mm -hmm. and I spent about a year with him. And then um, I went to another agency, um, or another agent, per se, and I was talking to her. Her name's Julie Caitlin Brown, and she has Illumina Productions, and um, she asked me to come on as an independent contractor, and I've been with her since getting part of 2015, and learned a lot from her. She's teaching me a lot about, you know, the ins and outs of what to do, what not to do, et cetera. Um, and this is what I love to do. This is the side that I like. So this is kind of where I'm at and, you know, trying to build it basically from the ground up, so yes. to speak. Uh, and that's, what's, what's that's really, what I do. That's my life. Yeah, and, and what a wonderful life it is. <laughs> because what's really funny. Well, you know, honestly, you know, I hear that a lot, you know, especially from someone on the other side of the table my God, how did you get your job? I mm-hmm. want your job. It looks glamorous. And for the most part, I mean, in, in some people's visions, it is glamorous. Mm-hmm. But it's hard work. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It is a lot of hard work. It's not just showing up at a venue, slapping your stuff down next to the guests that you've brought in and, you know, watching what they do all day Mm -hmm. it's you know anyone who's ever seen me out at conventions they see that I'm walking the line I'm talking to the fans Mm -hmm. you know I will I've been known to you know find that child in the line and bring the child up with me and give them an experience of you know hey (laughs) <laughs> they're behind the table. Right. <laughs> they're standing right next to their hero. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's really a lot of a lot of running around. I was talking to someone the other day, and I was explaining to them, you know, I can put anywhere from, you know, fifteen to 30,000 steps on my little Fitbit in <laughs> one day, just one convincing day. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, I actually uh, can vouch for that because I've seen you – in action, um, along with a lot of other um, uh, agents and, and 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 managers that were there um, at the convention that we met at, mm-hmm. um, and I <laughs> I swear, like you work magic, and I literally was like, I know that I'm pretty young for my age, but I was not expecting to see you zoom the way you were zooming. (laughs) You move so fast and with such grace. And, like, I would turn around, and I'm like, did she just teleport to the other side of the room? Like, where did she go? (laughs) Like, what is she doing? (laughs) Like, I would turn around. Yeah, I mean, that's... You've got to be ready on a moment's notice to get from point A to point B very, very quickly. Um, (laughs) Who knows? You know, it's... I'm the liaison. (laughs) Exactly, exactly. And that's what's really important about, like, what people don't really see. Um, And actually, I just had a conversation um, with one of my friends a couple of days ago, you know, um, just getting into the whole, like, and I'm not even on your end. I'm the one just (laughs) accepting bookings and and requesting, you know, interviews and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, I'm not even the one organizing it and scheduling it like like you are um so i can't even imagine the stress that you must be under and then having to also be with them to make sure that everything runs smoothly i think that a lot of people have a misconception of the the people who are behind the scenes um and they think that you know oh they just get to stand next to these celebrities and blah there's a lot of work that goes into it Mm -hmm. you know and i i for one have already seen 
what you can do and the magic that you move. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, and, and to me, it's about the fans having a great experience. It doesn't right. matter what convention, convention I'm at. And right. it, to me, I walk in and I, I take a look at the whole room. It's not just my clients that I'm looking at and what's best for them. I'm thinking about what's best for the fans. What, mm-hmm. What's going to give the fan that great experience that they're really going to remember for the rest of their life? Right. Um, you know, that's why I, I typically will tend to pull out children out of the line. Um, cute little story. Um, in, I was in New Jersey, and there was this little boy, and he was standing with his family, and his whole family is dressed as Arrow characters. Oh, mm-hmm. that's so cute. Whole family, <laughs> like the, the green, uh, green Arrow, and... Um, Death stroke mm-hmm. and you know, just the whole like there was four of them. And then this little boy is dressed as Iron Man and he was crying. And I didn't know if he was crying because, you know, mom and dad didn't want to get in the line, but I didn't really think that was it. Mm-hmm. They were all dressed as Arrow and my client is on Arrow that I was there with. Mm-hmm. So I walk over and I kneel down and I was like, Hi, can you tell me why you're crying? Mm-hmm. You're going to go meet you know, your favorite character or whatever. And he looked at me and he said, my Diggle costume didn't make it in time and I have to be Iron Man and I don't want to be Iron Man. I'm supposed to be Diggle. Oh. And it <laughs> just so happened that it was David Ramsey who plays Diggle that I was there with. And I said, you know what? How would you like to meet Diggle? And the little boy's eyes just lit up and I brought him up with me to give him a personal introduction mm. to David and you know David eats up the kids he loves that interaction knowing that you know children watch his show and they know who he is and they can keep up to date you know and they are up to date with the show because that's one of the first things that he asks you know Mm -hmm. are you caught up on the show and if they say yes he gives you a little quiz okay well what was the last thing that happened (laughs) kind of thing so you know it's it's just things like that that you know that's what I do it for. That's I do it for the fans. Cute. Look at you doing good things for the country, <laughs> girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doing it for the children. Yeah. I do it for the children. I do it for the children. Make memories. I, and anytime I do it, I'll post a status, and I always get permission from their parents that mm-hmm. I can post a picture mm-hmm. of, you know, the interaction or whatever. And I always hashtag it making memories, because that's really what uh-huh. I'm doing for that child. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Making memories. That child will he or she's going to remember yeah. Oh, they both Lori love the kids. Right, Lori love the kids. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had. Uh, and I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm lucky that I have great clients mm-hmm. that, you know, that I work with that, you know. And that's what I was They want to see the smiles just as much as I do. Right. right. And that's what I was going to ask you. Um, Like, how is your interest? Like, how do you, where do you go? Um, what is your thought process when picking clients and, and, or rather accepting clients, clientele and, you know, what, is there something that you see, um, in the client that you just kind of connect with or Mm -hmm. vibe with, et cetera? Well, first and foremost, we look at as agents, I I think we all look at what, what show are they on? Is that a, a show that, you know, the convention crowd is looking for at their convention? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that that's really one of the things that I look at. But it doesn't, to me, I give the client that has that small role just as much attention as I give that client that's got the big role. Because mm-hmm. I feel like you never know when that client's going to land that role that's just going to take them over the top. Mm-hmm. And that they're, you know, one day they could be the minor character in TV show A, and then the next day they could be one of the lead characters in TV show B, mm-hmm. so to speak. And, you know, I like for my clients, it's about customer service all mm-hmm. the way around. It's about customer service to my clients. It's about customer service to the fans. It's about customer service to the promoters, you know, all the way around making sure that everybody's in a win-win situation. Um, but obviously, you know, I have to look at whatever show they're on or what they've been on, movies, et cetera. Um, and what's hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, now it's, it's with that being said, like, is, are there any upcoming, 
um, events for any of your clients that you want to shout out or you want to like um... sure yes absolutely <laughs> <laughs> give us a tea I want to know what's happening what's going on what I need to watch what you know like I need to know <laughs> the, ne- the next big event okay. um, is Dragon Con in Atlanta Georgia I mean I have some other events up to that but Dragon Con is one of the biggest largest best conventions um, and it runs Labor Day weekend in Atlanta, Georgia, mm-hmm. so September 2nd through 5th, I believe, are the dates, 3rd through 5th. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday convention. And I have Mr. Blaine De Beers himself, David Anders, John. going to Dragon Con. Okay. Come on, iZombie. Along with <laughs> from iZombie. Yes. Um, so, He's going, and then I also have some Illumina clients that are going as well, David Gentoli and Bitsy Tullock, and there's one more, but I can't say who it is because Dragon hasn't announced them yet. Okay. And Darn it. <laughs> so everybody look out on the Dragon page to see who that next guest is going to be mm-hmm. for them. Um, and then Lee Ehrenberg will be at C4 Central Canada Comic Con yes. in Winnipeg. Okay. That's Lee. Love weekend. him. Mm-hmm. So those are the two really big ones that I have coming up next. No, no, I'll it's be the... out in San Jose at the end of August. So okay. before Dragon Con, I'll be out in San Jose, California, at an mm-hmm. event, Heroes and Villains Fan Fest. So we, we have to do lunch. We have to do lunch or dinner. Is San Jose close to you guys? Like, am I going Where's to San be Jose within... Actually? Kwame, I swear. <laughs> San Jose is um, near like San Jewish? Francisco. It's about an hour, an hour south of San Francisco, Craig. I will drive there for Lori, okay? okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my like, good good. Lord, Kwame. We are all the way down here in Southern California. Lori, you have to forgive me. I'm still new to California. <laughs> so, I don't know my directions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> that was the day, I, guess. I was just like, oh, so we go take a trip. Okay, that's going to be a drive. That's going to be a drive. <laughs> but no, I would, I wanted to. Um, one of the things that I that I wanted to make sure that we give a shout out to is your is Lomo Pro, which is your your new company. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to make sure that everybody has um access to. The social media, the website, all that jazz, and and we'll we'll also upload it on um everything when we when this this episode airs. Well, right now I'm still in the process of building my website. So okay. right now, what I have is a Facebook page, Lomo okay. Pro. Okay. Um. So right now, that's that's my social media. I'm working on a website. I'm working on getting a Twitter together. I you know tossed around a couple ideas before I decided to dive into putting Lomo for long media. A lot of people know how to get a hold of me, you know, through my email or through my personal Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I kind of just thought about it long and hard and decided, all right, well, I'll build the website and I will do a Facebook page. And then if I like how that's going, then I'll do a Twitter. If I like how that's going, then I'll add Instagram and all that good stuff to it. Um, so right now, yes, Facebook is where Romo Pro can be found. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Lori, for coming. And, and, and I know you are such a busy woman, so I really appreciate you yeah. taking the time to, to divulge your knowledge of wisdom and awesomeness onto yeah, us. Yeah. And, and just giving us a little <laughs> taste of what it, what it is to be in, in the life of, of, a, of a manager. <laughs> yeah. manager. Yes. Wow. Well, it's... Yeah, I'm still one of the new ones, so I have a lot to learn, but Mm -hmm. this is where I love to be, and this is what I love to do, and I'm thankful that I have a great family that supports me in it, and, you know, my children are grown, and sometimes I take my children on the road with me, Mm -hmm. but, you know, they all support what I'm doing and want it to succeed as much as I do. Right on. Thank you so well, much. It's so nice to meet you, Lori. And we'll, we'll, we'll definitely you too. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to make sure you guys meet in person. I yeah, think, we're going to we're going to take a trip to San Jose. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, well, you have a good night. You Thanks too. for having me on. Thank right, you so you much. Too. All right. Good night. Alrighty. Bye. 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 Good night.